either John in sports. Today, we'll talk about a few free agents that are left that I think you know, could be maybe one last or the last few possible signings in the New York Giants. You know, before the season ended, I thought that there's going to be a few free agents that just, there just wasn't enough money to where, you know, they're not going to get the deal that they want, especially with the salary cap going down over the COVID and all that. So today, I picked out three edge outside linebacker players that I wouldn't mind seeing the Giants sign, and I think, you know, with the way the year is, they could get a one-year, you know, relatively cheap deal, kind of like we got on Marcus Golden. So I'll just step right in, and the first one is Melvin Ingram. He was recently uh, let go by the chart, well, not released, I believe his contract expired, uh, but Melvin Ingram's 31, and just for the hell of it, I looked up their PFF grades, and Ingram was a 72.3. So, not bad. And, again, I think Ingram might be looking, you know, for that one-year contract I ever had. Because last year, I mean, he really did suffer horribly with injuries. So, he's just not going to have many more chances at a big contract. You know, a one-year proven deal would probably be the smart move on his part. You know, before last year, though, Ingram, like, he's really never had to deal with injuries. So, I don't worry about that, you know, going forward. And outside of his first three seasons and last season, Ingram has recorded at least seven sacks every year. So, in fact, Ingram had 43 sacks from 2015 to 2019. So that's what's up. I mean, that's up there with some of the best in the NFL in that period, that time period. You know, it obviously helps lining up across from Joey Bosa. But, you know, I'm, I'm not going to be petty and, and hold that against him. So out of all the free agents remaining, I think I would probably like, be most excited if the Giants signed Ingram. Uh, especially out of all the edge guys left, you know, and there's some good ones still out there actually so, If he stays healthy, I believe he'd be pretty productive and he could probably help the younger guys on the team too with all his experience So if the Giants could sign him on a one-year deal for relatively cheap money. I would support it So another guy who piqued my interest was uh, Justin Houston. He's obviously a little, a little bit older like Ingram too. He's 32 um, his PFF grade was 63.5, but that, you know, he's still, even though he had a lower PFF grade, he still is decent in sacks. I think he had nine last year. A uh, year before that, it was like 11 and a half. Uh, you know, Justin Houston signing with the Giants is probably just a, you know, just a pipe dream, but, you know, I've always loved his game. You know, I've always uh, admired him from afar. So he's just an all-around good player, honestly. And, you know, he might be out of the Giants' price range, you know, after all the big signings here that we had this off season. But Justin Houston also, uh, I kind of Googled him, and I've seen that he does have some visits in the next few days with the Texans and Ravens. Um, I know that he's not expected to sign until after the draft, though. You know, neither the Ravens or Texans want to risk losing comp picks. So I guess if the Giants wanted to, there would be time for the Giants to swoop in. You know, but if but if Houston is seeking the kind of money I, I think he is, it's probably not a match here. Who knows what other teams are offering in, in the COVID season? I mean, 19 sacks in the last two seasons is nothing to scoff at. I mean, he's, he's definitely going to get signed somewhere. Um, you know, he's he's going to be a great signing for some. But I just I, I doubt it's uh, Giants, but I can dream. <laughs> and my last free agent that I picked today was uh, Jadavian Clowney. And he's a little bit younger, 28. Uh, his PFF grade was a 74.9 last year. You know, and uh, Cl Clowney's been looking for a big contract for two years now. And, you know, it just ain't going to happen, it seems. Last season, he held out to the very last minute. And uh, the best deal he got was a one-year $12 million with the Titans. And, you know, the same thing that always happens happened. You know, Clowney got injured. <laughs> this is like a theme. Year before last, I think he was in Seattle. He had three sacks. Uh, he did even worse this year. I mean, he had zero sacks. But listen, he is disruptive while on the field. You know, I, I can't deny it. Uh, he's kind of been like an, he's a he's an almost player. You know, he's definitely a talented guy, I'll say that. But he's never just put it all together, it seems. You know, and he, and he does. He you know he needs to put it together for at least a season where he stays healthy, finishes with some sack numbers, or he'll be stuck. I think with these one-year contracts, and uh, I think Clowney would be smart to get himself in New York. Patrick Graham. I mean, Leonard Williams was viewed kind of similar, like a, a lot like Clowney, a disrupting player that almost gets a sack. And this year might be the last for Clowney to, you know, put it all together. 
I don't think there's very much buzz for him right now. I checked on Google. I don't think he has any visits. I, there were some little mumblings of the Raiders, but they signed Ngakwe and they have Crosby, so I don't see where he'd fit there. <laughs> you know, Gettleman could probably get him on the cheap this year. Uh, if this signing would happen, it probably wouldn't be for you know, at least a couple more months. I just think he's going to hold out for as much as he can get. So that's it. I mean, I went with all outside linebackers because at this point, all the other best free agents are left tackles and uh, right tackles, and I, I kind of like our tackle situation right now, unless we're going to go the route of the draft, because um, Matt Pair is the future. We don't draft another tackle. Uh, but if you but if you guys do want me to make a video uh, of the tackles, let me know. Hit me up in the comments. There's a few I'm, I'd be very excited about, um, but we'll see. I've never made one of these kind of videos of free agents and all that, so I'm new to this. So. Hit me up. Let me know what you think. If you want more videos like this, hit me up. Out of the three in this video, I think Melvin Ingram would be my pick. And I think uh, Clowney might be the cheapest option this year. But you never know with NFL teams. A team could throw 10 plus million at him again. You know, especially Clowney because he's only 28 years old. You know, that could be appealing to a team. You know, I like the Afidi signing uh, that we got. And I'm excited to see what he can do. But he's never played, you know, standing up on the outside. He always had his hand in the ground, so, I, you know, obviously I worry about Lorenzo Carter coming off Achilles here. Uh, it normally takes two years for, you know, them after an Achilles tear to get back to where you were. And honestly, we just don't know what O'Shane Zimmon is, is at this point. Ryan Anderson was a decent signing, but he just isn't starter material in my opinion. Now, I'm pretty sure Goodman is going to draft an edge player in, you know, the first four rounds of this draft. But all that wouldn't stop me from signing one of these guys. I uh, I don't want to you know miss shouting out Carter Coughlin and Cam Brown too. For where they were drafted last year, they held their own, and uh, you know I'm still excited to see what them guys can do down the road. You know, honestly, I don't see the Giants signing any one of these guys unless they you know can be had for five million or less, you know five six million somewhere in that range. But we'll see how it all works out. You know I don't I don't expect I don't expect any movement on these guys for at least a few weeks at a minimum. So. There was, uh, actually, there was a few other players I'd like to give uh, some honorable mentions. And uh, the first one was Alden Smith, who had a good season with the Cowboys, especially like the first four or five games. You know, another year working out in the NFL facility, and he could have a dynamite season. And he won't be asking for crazy money. Uh, another one's Ryan Kerrigan. Um, he's the only player that, player that piqued my interest a little bit. You know, Kerrigan has starkly killed us, killed the Giants. You know, and I just don't want to see him going to Dallas or Philly. If there's any buzz of that, swoop in. Just, just get him. You know, I, I think he's still a damn good player. Uh, the other linebacker that interested me was K.J. Wright. You know, he, he's not an outside linebacker, but I think there's still a place for K.J. on the team if Gettleman wanted. You know, I like the Reggie Ragland signing. I guess you could keep K.J., you know, Crater, uh, Crowder. Jeez. I guess you could keep them all, but, uh, with the Reggie Ragland sign like contract, you can get out from under it if you need. It. You know, it was league minimum. I, I don't even think there was any like guaranteed money to it. But you know, I, but I do I, listen. I think Tay Crowder is going to be really good. I like him. I think he has a future here. But I'm just not sure if he's ready for full time. You know, a whole season. So I don't think KJ is coming here. But uh, honestly, I'd love it. I mean, the guy's just a friggin' just a baller. You know, the Giants have spent a bunch of money this off season, so they may be done. But these are the only guys on defense I, like I'd be particularly interested in. Um, a month ago, I'd say it's impossible to make these signings, but after you know last month, all the deals, you know, uh, nothing would surprise me anymore at this point. So that's it for me. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, whether you like like any, hit me up in the comments. Let me know if you you would like the Giants sign some of these guys I'd mentioned. Uh, do you want them just to be done? Look forward to the draft. You want more videos like this? Because I, I could definitely make a few more if you guys are interested. Anyways, that's it for me. Stay safe. Like and subscribe. Peace out.